gang, this is Power Bricks, and I'm back with another LEGO Megazord review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Hunter Storm Megazord. Now, in the previous video, I called it the Sinister Storm Megazord, but that's too much of a mouthful. So, Hunter Storm Megazord is the name. Now, we have three Zords to work with, and these are all powered by the Fifth Ranger. Okay, so we have the Magenta Moza, the Teal Carnotaurus, and the Sky Blue Raptor. Now, this is going to be a really cool set because not only is it the set of the Evil Ranger, but outside of this, we got some awesome Zords and some awesome Rangers to look at. So, let's get into it. the Evil Ranger Morpher right here. And as you can see that the Moza Dino Disc is in there. And it's really cool. And it has a very interesting look. We got Magenta, some, uh, some Teal, and some Violet, and also some Gold and Gray. So, pretty nice with some black hints. Now... Let's take a look at those dino discs so we can see which ones we're going to be looking at today. And the ones we're going to be looking at are the Mosa, number 14, Magenta, number 15, Carnotaurus, and we're going to look at number 16, which is the Velociraptor. So there it is, guys. And we're also going to take a look at the Rangers. So these are the fifth Ranger suits. This is kind of the Trent vibe, but these are his dino change modes. Here we have his regular Magenta Ranger, and that's with the sword. You see he got this cool wavy sword going on. And then we have him with the uh, Carnotaurus, and there's also a uh, tooth blade. You can see he has like this dagger and a gun in his hand. And then we also have the Raptor form, which is the uh, sky blue, with the hand Gatling gun type thing going on, the Raptor gun. So it's pretty cool. And then later on, for the next video, we're going to take a look at Ranger 6, which is Violet, and that's the Dimentro. So we're going to go from there. So these are the Rangers. Let's get into the Zords. First up is the Magenta Mosa, and this is a really cool Zord. Now, this is Ranger number five, and these, these are all of his Zords, the Carnotaurus and the Raptor and this one. Kind of like Trent, and it's just a really cool Zord, like this Arbor Killer O. So we got this nice Mosasaurus with articulation all throughout the body. You can get him into uh, swimming positions, kind of like, got flippers back there. Well, this is like symbolized to be a flipper, but you see what it is later on. And then um, we have his tail. We got the flippers right there, the fins, head movement, mouth can open and close. And it's just really cool. I really do like that I chose this color because it's like pink, but it's not pink. You know what I'm saying? There's also silver right here. And it's just really cool overall. You know, the black really just gives it a great contrast. So that's pretty much it for the Mosa. Let's so here right. is the Raptor. And the Raptor is really cool now. This color is a really nice blue. It's not an ordinary blue now. I've used all the colors in the book for these uh, Zords in these sets, and they all differentiate very uniquely. Now, the Raptor just has this nice piece of black right here, red eyes, gold fin right there, or a feather. We got mouth articulation with all kinds of sharp teeth in there. We've got arm articulation right here. His little uh, dino nibs we can move, we can sort of make it look like a dinosaur like that. Um, we got some leg articulation, nice, whoa, gold, birdie feet i think it looks pretty cool got a nice thick tail right there spikes on the back got some black some red gray and gold everything fits very well and i think that this is a great zord this is one of my favorite ones out of all of the um arm attachment type zords why did that come off twice uh it's kind of weird okay but he's definitely one of my favorites uh he has an interesting color scheme that's for sure that's the main reason why i like this zord a lot it's the color scheme I'm going to be honest. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the Raptor. Let's get into the big boy, the Teal Carnotaurus. So here is the Teal Carnotaurus, and this is a really nice sword. Not only is it practically, it's not a remold of the uh, Blue T-Rex, but it is very close in design. But he does have a lot of differences. Now, you obviously know that Teal is his color, but there's a lot of gray on there, some black, some gold, and um, it's very limited on silver. That's interesting. But still, it's a really cool color. So... Articulation, leg movement, you got all these ratchet joints, you got foot articulation right here, which is nice. As always, there's individual toe articulation now. The only thing that I don't like is that these clips, they feel like the measurement is off. That's what I feel like. And um, they don't really fit onto these clips too well. So sometimes they do pop off, but that's just about it for that. That's the only complaint. And same with this one right here. It doesn't really fit on this sometimes. It just pops off and it just gets that overall cheap feel. Um... That's one problem that I would say, but anyway, still pretty cool. Uh, we got these small, stubby little fa uh, fingers. My bad, guys. Small, stubby little fingers. And right here is his face. 
We got a nice jaw action. But he has white teeth. He doesn't have silver teeth like the um, the blue Tyrannosaurus Rex. Now, speaking of Tyrannosaurus Rex, let's size compare these two. Okay, so here are all of the dinosaurs so far. Here we have the first five for the good guys, and this is the first three for the bad guys. So these three are extremely powerful. We have a huge hunter, Carnosaurus, who can fight the giant T-Rex. And then we have this raptor who's fighting all of those herbivores. And the Mosa who will also fight the herbivores. So obviously the carnivores will have an edge over a lot of herbivores. But they still have one carnivore, which is great. So that at least makes a lot of sense for that half of that team because primarily there are a few carnivores for the good guys and they're mostly all carnivores for the bad guys. And there's one herbivore. But that's enough talking about carnivores and herbivores. Let's size compare the T-Rex to the Carnotaurus. So I'm gonna move some of these guys to the back. Sorry about that, Parazord. You're gonna have to stand right there. All right, let's move those guys to the back and let's bring in the T-Rex and the Carnotaurus and see how much they actually differ already. So, the Carnotaurus is bigger than the uh, T-Rex, surprisingly. The T-Rex is supposed to be a little bigger. But really, the thing is that the Carnotaurus, it does not uh, crouch all the way down. Now, there is this piece hanging off right here at the top, which is the Zord head. I couldn't hide it. Sorry. Um, but yeah, overall... He's still really tall. I gotta fix his toes, but um, he's still really tall at, at the end of the day. They're both around the same size. They can definitely battle it out. It'll be pretty cool. And he looks freaking sinister, though. I'm not gonna lie. He looks really scary compared to that guy. Uh, yeah, that's why the evil guys have an edge. So that's pretty cool, though. The two Zords battling out. But anyway, let's get to Mega Zord. Uh, I've already shown you guys the size comparison. Uh, I don't want to spend too much time wasting on. That. Okay, guys, so now it's time to initiate the Megazord. So first, we're going to get our Carnotaurus, and we're going to flip the legs all the way around like this to where the gray part in the back is exposed. Now, once we do that, we're then going to get this section here and rotate it inwards, and then we're going to rotate the foot around like that, okay? Same with the other side. Rotate it inwards. Make sure this gray part is inwards. And then I'm going to uh, rotate this foot around like that. Okay, then I'm gonna get the tail, twist it around. Okay, stand it up. Now we're in the front of the Megazord. Okay, now I must heighten the camera so that you guys can see what's going on. Okay, now that he stood up, we could turn it around and we can bring this head section all the way down. And then we collapse the uh, T-Rex claws into the dinosaur like that all right now that we got that i can then get the head and i can rotate this around and there's the zord head and there is the upper body of the hunter storm megazord now i can just set that to the side now there is an extra little piece that i did build which was this right here and you'll see what it does in a second now we're next going to go to the mosa and we're going to pull off the tail once i pull off the tail open the uh connector rotate this around flip those in boom now I get the tail and I get that piece and I plug this in right here like that rotate this around and this is a sword it goes into the mouth of the Moza like so Let me make sure plugs right in there okay I could plug that in like that boom close the mouth and there is a sword for the Megazord. Now we can set this to the side, that would be an arm. And then we get the Raptor, boom. We're going to uh, flip this forward. Let me zoom in just a little bit. I'm gonna flip that forward, then I'm gonna get the uh, arms and collapse them inwards. Once I do that, I can turn this around like that. Actually, no, this way. Yeah, I think it collapses inwards like that. Mm -hmm. Flip out the connector. Then I'm gonna get the legs and I'm gonna fold these around like that. Same with the other side. Fold it around, fold the tail in like that. And there is our second arm for the Megazord. Now, <clears throat> we can bring the Zord in like so. We can then start connecting the dinos. 
And just like that, we have the Hunter Storm Megazord. <laughs> Now, articulation for this guy is actually pretty interesting. We got 360 arm rotation. You can move the joint in and out like that for the Mosasaurus. There's also a bend at the elbow and there's movement in the wrist. The sword is also supposed to be wavy and it can bend around and move. It's pretty cool. So I think that's dope for the sword. Now, next we have the Raptor, which is just 360 on a soft ratchet, but it's still there. Nice and uh, firm. Uh, there's that. There's head articulation right here can move the head around, get various poses. He can look around and see things. There's also some knee movement right there. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. There's some knee, blah, blah, blah. knee movement right there. Sorry guys, it's a little late and I'm tired. And then there's uh, some foot movement right there in the ankle, which is nice. And there's of course, individual toe movement. The tail is also articulated on many points of articulation. So there's that, you can see it all right there, all nice and dandy. But yeah, that is practically it for that. Now, let's get into the size comparison. Now, here are all of the Zords in one shot. And one thing that I'm going to know is that they are massive. But one thing for sure is that the Hunter Storm Megazord is a lot taller than the Dino Storm and the Stego Storm. It is huge. Not only is he massive and buff, but he's super, super tall. I mean, this guy is at least almost a foot tall. Not even a foot, but at least around 11 and a half inches. He's almost 12 inches tall. If not, then he is. This is a huge Zord. They're all pretty big and bulky, but this guy definitely takes the cake. And you can tell that when they run those fades, he's definitely going to be in the front line tearing those dudes up. So make sure you guys check out the other Zords. So um, a quick little look at the Rangers one more time so we can get a look at who's actually fighting. For my diehard fans right now, this is your moment. If you want to skip this, you can. So we got blue, red, and yellow, which is obviously that Zord right there, Dino Storm. And then we have the Green Ranger, but he's also using his uh, gray brachio or graphite brachio. The green and gray, okay? These are his, they're the same guy, Ranger number four. So there he is, Ranger one, two, three, and four. And right here is Ranger five which is the evil ranger the magenta so this is ranger five right here and these are his other forms this is the carnotaurus form and the raptor form for his dino change so it's pretty dang sick to see these zords head up going against each other and there are so many more zords the next one we're going to take a look at is the purple dimetro and once we get into that then we can look at all of the beautiful auxiliaries that are available and they're just other dino change modes that the rangers have so like comment subscribe i hope that you guys really enjoyed this video and this is power breaks signing off peace so here he is with the packy and the para power Pretty cool Zord overall. I think that this thing looks nice. Not only do we have some nice colors, but nice details. And this teal really makes the other two stand out in a very different way. And in the back, we have this bad boy right here with the Moza and the Raptor combined. Pretty cool color scheme overall. It looks pretty nice. Nice and subtle, but it, I think that these two look a lot better on him. And he, just overall, the Carnotaurus houses both colorways very well. I think that this has more of a, um, gives me an Aztec Mexican vibe. Something about it, I don't know, it's just the colors. But um, these guys look really good with the Carnotaurus and the other two also look great with it. Now, there's one more combo and I just wanna show you guys the uh, Stego mode. So let's get into that. Well guys, it appears that we've reached the end of the video review. I thank you guys for making it this far. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And look forward for the next video, which is going to be about the Dimetro Zord. This is the Violet Ranger Zord, and I can't wait to get into this bad boy. It is beautiful and it has nice chrome on it. So make sure you guys look forward to that. And this is Power Breaks signing off. Peace.